So this is a tabletop exercise where we bring in stakeholders from downstream communities that could be impacted by uh, a dam safety emergency at Falls Dam, uh, emergency management operators from counties and communities downstream. So we all coordinate and talk about how we would respond, who we would need to call, what the, the different scenarios would be um, so that we can provide the best response um, in that kind of an emergency. This exercise and exercises like this are incredibly important, right? So I, I just tell you, recently we, we've done a regional level exercise, we've done a state exercise, and now we're here at a local exercise. And every one of these opportunities is a chance for us to, one, build relationships, but also coordinate and communicate with all of our stakeholders to ensure that we are a synchronized effort in an actual event. I think the, the, the next phase of that for us is, right, again, we've done it regionally, we've done it statewide, now we're doing it locally, is we'll do an internal exercise of our own at the district. So this is really important to have these types of exercises because the core internally has a lot of processes and we make sure our operations folks know what to do if there's an emergency, but we want to know that those follow-on steps are going to be taken too, that our partners downstream have plans in place to help warn our communities if we need to put out that kind of notification that there is a cause for concern. So one of the things we're also doing is, is, is um, collecting updated telephone numbers for our emergency action plan, all the contact information so that we know who the right people to contact are, how we can get a hold of them, uh, cell phones, office phones, so we're able to operate in a 24-7 scenario. This is just critical important for um, communication, which is it's partnership. It's, it's all about all of us uh, knowing who to call, um, how to work together so that we're all the same team um, being able to adequately respond to emergencies. Um, the best thing that someone that lives downstream of one of our dams can do is check in with their local emergency manager and see what the plan is. If they get that call that you have to evacuate, know what your plan is, make sure you have a plan with your family. If they're going to be at school, make sure your kids know what to do if you get that call. Um, if you want to look up exactly your neighborhood and see how it might be impacted by um, some of our normal releases or if there's an emergency situation at the dam, you can go to the National Inventory of Dams. Just Google National Inventory of Dams. It'll be the first thing that comes up and uh, you can go ahead and look for a, a dam in your area or zoom in on a map and see how it may impact, affect you. And the National Inventory of Dams is a great resource too if you're new to dams, you want to know what they do and what they don't do, and some of the benefits that they provide. Uh, the National Inventory of Dams too, if you scroll down to the bottom, has some great resources if you're new to dams, you don't know how they work or what they do. Um, you have, they have some little videos there and you can get a better understanding of how our project works and how it might affect your community.